in light of India has the meaning of uh, um, life changing discovery of another culture, which is quite a lot. The lesson that gives to a person uh, the otherness, the otherness of, of a very rich culture, also the lesson that gives you the discovery of love and the discovery of yourself. When Octavio Paz was already feeling that the end of his days was close, he had the feeling that there was something very important in his life that was lacking. And it was his relationship with India. It was already uh, written in his poetry and in many of his essays, because there is a lot of traces of India in many of the works of Octavio Paz, beginning with the poetry. But he felt that he owned to his uh, way of understanding the world, a chronicle of his arrival to India, the, um, at least mentioned the relations he established with the Indian artists and his understanding of Indian politics and Indian history. And at the end, also coming back to the poetry, his reading of the classical, literary works of, of India. I asked him if he felt that India changed his work, because I had the impression that Octavio Paz, each 15 or 20 years, he decided to reinvent himself. And his last reinvention was because of India. His poetics, in, from my point of view, became much more erotical. So his, his uh, way of understanding poetry was a very intellectual one. And after India, it became more, more sensorial, more linked to the senses, but also more linked to the, the, the deep meaning of the senses. And he, he called this phenomenon, uh, in India, my words acquire more weight, wider meaning of eroticism is the link between the world. An erotic relation with the world is to uh, relate to all the world through the senses. And for him to be in India was a discovery of the place of all the senses in his words.